If you're an author who's looking for a place to keep your story information and you aren't happy with anything you found so far, I want to show you some options with Notion. In my previous Notion videos, I showed you a glimpse of what my book tracker looks like and some of the Notion basics as I worked on planning with the 12 week year method. So this is my current book tracker where I keep all of my story information that I put together before I start writing. I have a Kanban board, Kanban, however you say it. Each book gets listed while I start plotting it. And then I just drag it along. So this helps me track where each book is for the current writing stage. Other things are a list for my works in progress. And you'll see I have a story info where it says duplicate this. And I have it here as well. They are the same template. This template that I'm going to share with y'all, the shareable one version of this. It's just I have them in two different locations to be able to grab one, whatever I want. And I'll show you what some of those look like. For instance, when I go into one of those, I have my series outline. So I can see how the whole series is going to play out for the pacing character information and just various things. Just showing you some templates and things that I like to use. So this right here is all the stuff that is going to go into my story right away. It's a place for me to store things so I can easily copy and paste instead of having to pause and lose the momentum as I'm actually working. Instead, I focus on trying to get it all done in the beginning. Same thing with all of my character settings. And the great thing about Notion is it's so customizable. So if you don't like the templates, you can easily make your own. So we have here Logan's R through everything. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually write inside Notion. So let's just go into one blank one right here. And I could start typing out actually writing, or if I want to, if I'm working with AI, I can copy everything over here. And when I'm on the go, I can mess with changing things up, editing, or continuing to write. Because Notion syncs across everything. PC, Mac, phone, tablet, everything. I am going to link this shareable book tracker in the description just to give you a start if you don't have any idea of how to get started in planning it, creating one. That way you have that starting point and you can start editing and making it yours and how you want it. But if you don't like this one, there are lots of other alternatives. For instance, I will show you a paid one. I actually don't even remember where I got this from now. I didn't use it. I liked it at first, or the look of it at least, but I found this to be very overwhelming for me. I created my writing quest. That's somebody I actually follow on YouTube as well, so check them out. So this is a paid for one. I can't share it with you for that reason, but check it out if this looks like something you would be interested in more than the simple ones. And if we look at the one that I'm going to be linking in the description, if you scroll down to the bottom of the first page, I've also added two other links and both of these have several templates that are useful for writing. But if you want to create your own, you can do that too. So let's get started. I have one right here. Just kept the name simple. You can see I have started listing out the various things. Think of the, what would you want to have in your tracker? And you could start listing those out here. Now don't get overwhelmed. Don't try to procrastinate with making it perfect. You can start simple. Again, Notion is easily customizable. So if I only did a little bit at a time, I could add in things as I work with the story and decide, oh, I need this particular thing up here. And of course, it's good to have that general template. And then as you're working with various genres, your fantasy stories will need something different than your mafia romance stories, for example. 
I'm going to add another one here for names. I've been finding myself really needing another place to go to. My current place to go for names is an app on my phone. I want to have it on my computer as well. So let's start playing with organizing this little template and you can get an idea of what to do. And this will be me thinking through the process with y'all. I would want my first page here to just be a place that I could easily go into. I don't want to have to go into uh, sub pages, hunt a place down to store information. I think I would want my first page here to be brainstorming, um, ideas to incorporate. Again, I could turn this into a toggle if I want. Once I actually start adding things in here and it's a continuous scroll, I might turn these into a toggle to easily condense it. And for research, I'm actually, for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave research here as well. Not going to lie, I don't do too much of research. My stuff generally just involves figure out this plot hole or how can we make this happen for the story? I'm going to turn this one into a page because I want to go to a different section now. So I will have my series. I want to be able to link to my individual books from there and my outline, all these little things here. I actually believe I'm eventually just going to have names be a template all on its own. So it won't be buried within this store Bible template itself. But for now, I'm going to put it there. And I like to have my pages up here at the top. That way, again, if I have a lot of information here, I don't have to scroll all the way down to go to the next page. I just want to click here. For my series information, I'm going to want series title, book, pitch. And series outline. And again, I can make this a page or a toggle, whatever I wanted. Into a toggle. And let me craft these to get them out of there. And what I would have individual books. And as you can see, this is just very crude planning. No real thought process. Just to show y'all how easy it is. But obviously, you would be taking more time to plan out how you wanted it. Drag these into here. My world building, you know what? I want to duplicate my world building. So I'm going to want a look at the world building for the series as a whole and then for individual books. And I'll go ahead and keep names here, especially. I'm not going to mess too much with that since I know I'm going to want to do something else with it. But what I would want, make a separate page. So I'm going to go into here. And then I would want Male names. Don't even need to put that, of course. And let's say you're doing sci-fi, so you would want this shit. Space station, fantasy stuff, you would want species. Heading. Do a different one for races. We could, yeah, I think that would be good to segregate it like that. And obviously you can do a lot more here. So I would want, I actually don't need spaceship and space station, but just for instance, I could do my columns here and then put that with site by. And you can do several things here. I could turn this into, this going to annoy me that it's offset like that. I have to fix it. 
I could turn each of these into a page to click into it, like you would do on a website, say behind the name or fantasy name generators. I could turn each one into a page. If I know if I'm working on settings, click into there, have settings. I could just keep it simple with text and have these as headers, or I could actually turn it into a database. I'm going to come down here, click the slash, and I'm going to do database for this page. I look for the races. So you can edit the property here, whatever you need. And I highly recommend searching on some YouTube videos to get more into depth. I wanted to try to keep things simple for y'all. But I could change this up so I could have a column for I can combine space races and species. So I can put the species here. And trying to think of what else I would want. You could do something like ally. Actually, this would be a good for the tag, something like this. But just to give an example, ally foe. So you can have that. You can move these around. Again, I could do different things like that. Mentor, love, interest, foe, ally, whatever you want for a tag. Or again, making those as columns. I'm just going to think about this just for a moment. Again, I don't need these. I don't write sci-fi. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. Use these. But these three are the main ones that I'm worried about. So in thinking about how I would want to do this, I actually like the idea, I think, of doing a page. So that's what I'll do, keeping it simple. And then again, later on, if I decide I don't like the page, I don't want to have to click into each of them, I want them all on this one page, I can change that up. But now it's just a matter of going into the settings and what I'm wanting to do personally with these documents in particular, I'm just wanting a place to collect. As I hear a name I like, I can jump into one of these pages, add it to the list. And then whenever I need a name, looking for them. So going back to the series information, the world building here, let's go into individual books. So what do I want? I know for my characters, I'm going to turn this into a page. And when I get to characters, this you put again, thinking for a minute. This will be a page. And I do believe I could do another page, show you the difference. So I can turn that one into a page, or I could do a toggle. And I think for this one, my other one is a page, but I think I'm liking the toggle. I would have the character name here. Description. I don't want this to be a toggle to. Or. I'm 
Let's just put a place for notes as well. So I'm going to leave the notes so that it's always visible. Like that. And then, of course, I would have more than one character, so depending on which one I want with the page or the toggle, I could just duplicate that one. And then, so for each character one, character two, secondary characters, whatever, I would go into here. I could do one for minor characters. Turn that into a page or toggle. I think I would turn that into a page. And then as I go into the minor characters. Each one then have its own toggle. Again, this is all very brief, very simple. So do what you want with them. Add in all of those little aspects that you want to easily reference here. That is how you can start doing everything. Again, just decide, do you want a page that you click into to go reference that portion of your story? Would you prefer a toggle for that? Do you want a database, as you saw in the, what is that called? Storybook, Master Novelist as you saw in that template, it's full of databases. So that's something you could do. It's not my personal preference, but I know many people actually love that format. Decide how you want to look. Don't worry about getting it perfect because as you start writing and using this template is when you will see what you need to add, move, change around, whatever. So let's say I am ready. I'm satisfied with how this looks. I'm going to make a note that this is the master copy. And then I will come over here and I am going to duplicate it. So I'm going to drag it up and so up. And I'm actually going to put it within, and it just popped up right here. All I did was take it, drag it, so that it's in that one, and now it pops up. And again, I like these at the top. Now when I'm happy, I'm ready to do a new one. All I need to do is click right here, click duplicate. It's going to duplicate it. The more sub pages and all that you have, the longer it takes to duplicate. So keep that in mind. It's not going to be as quick as you just saw it flash up. It does take a few minutes sometimes. For instance, you'll see whenever you go to duplicate from the shareable book tracker, I'll link that it does take a few minutes to populate. But now I can easily duplicate this, go into here, and then start putting my story information into all of the little sections. That is a way that you can start creating your own little template that you will be happy with. And I can't stress this enough. I know it sounds like a broken record. Don't get overwhelmed with making it perfect. Put what you need there, what you know you're going to use it. And then as you work through various stories, see what you need to add, remove, or change up. All right, everyone. Again, I will have this shareable book tracker linked in the video description. So if you like this one or some of the elements and you want to use it, you're welcome to do. Thank you for watching. Bye everyone.